It's Horizon Zero Dawn time, folks. It's Tuesday. I don't know why I keep saying Thursday on Tuesdays, but I do. So I'm going to try to get the right day of the week, but bear with me. Oops, if I am mistaken, I'd say the wrong day. So the thing is, Sometimes people come to streams to uh, escape from real world stress, you know? And some streams are good for that sort of thing. Some streams are a fun escape from the real world. Um, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, folks. Um, the past, you know, day especially has been pretty stressful for me as well as for a great many people in the world, um, especially people in the U.S. and with people that they care about in the U.S. Um, and like, I'm going to put us on pause here for a minute. I am going to do my best to provide an entertaining space for you to hang out where there is fiction happening. We are not actually in Aloy's situation, so the things that happen in Aloy's situation are fictional. If you get stomped on by a T-Rex in the game, you do not get stomped on by a T-Rex in real life. Um, but I will say straight up, this is not really an escapist game. Um, and I respect that about it so very much. It's one of the things that I talk about at excessive length is that this game digs into real world things um, and that the apocalypse that they describe is uh, very effective because it's clearly based on things in the real world. So I don't know that there's going to be any way that we're going to avoid touching on difficult subjects because this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, and so as a consequence, I'm probably not going to shy away totally from talking about what's going on in the real world right now. So if you want an escapism situation for your own mental health, please seek that because I understand that you, sometimes you just need to get away from things. Um, I can't say that this will be that space. Um, but if you want to have a space in which maybe we can talk about it, maybe we don't, but, um, but we're here together, sitting together, not alone. Um, having feelings, talking about things that matter, um, and also shooting dinosaurs and sometimes bad cultists. Um, you're welcome to say, I just, I figured I would be uh, upfront from the very beginning about how I'm planning on running this stream because I don't know, man, things kind of suck. I did a late night stream last night. Um, that's a thing I do sometimes when things are really bad and there's really bad current events and people can't stop doom scrolling and spiraling downward. Um, and I'll do those again if I need to. That's just a late night thing to just hang on and have something in the background to keep you from spiraling. Um, uh, but uh, I, I, this is going to be primarily a Horizon Zero Dawn stream, but um, it's Horizon Zero Dawn. We're going to be talking about things of consequence. Um, so hopefully that's all right. I hope you're all doing all right. I hope you've taken some time for yourself today. Um, I, ho I hope you, you have remembered to eat drink some water, stretch a little bit, um, try to get some sunlight tomorrow if there is sunlight where you are. Um, it's probably a little late for most of you, unless you're on the other side of the world, in which case I guess maybe the sun is coming up for you, in which case maybe you should get sunlight today. Um, but for the rest of us, um, try to get some sunlight tomorrow if you can. I haven't. I should probably do that. Um, don't forget, it's okay to take care of yourself. Um, I know it can be tempting to want to just lay in bed and let the world fall down around you. Um, but have a food, drink a water, text a friend if you have the energy to do so and just do your best. Um, we'll get through this. I don't know how, but there's good things happening. There's people fighting. There's people who know what they're doing, leading us through things. Um, there's people doing the work that you can support even from a distance. Um, you can donate. There's a lot of protests happening. If you do that, I encourage you to please do some research into what to do to stay safe um, and keep yourself uh, private and safe if you do so. But I wholeheartedly support and encourage you to do whatever you feel comfortable doing. Um, yeah. 
So shall we play a little bit of a video game now? With that said, um, run around as Aloy in a beautiful, beautiful landscape. <sighs> That's some music. Let me know how the audio balance is, by the way. I think I might have got the music up a little bit loud. There we go. Is that better? Is that okay? I guess we'll see when people start talking. That seems to be the real test of audio balance. Oh, what happened last time? Well, we got stepped on by a T-Rex. You will all be glad to know my roommate whose birthday it was, which is why we fought the T-Rex. She was playing uh, Forbidden West and she came in to tell me like over the weekend, she's like, Lauren, I just got stomped on by a T-Rex I didn't realize was there. <laughs> so it's only fair that, that everyone in this household now, except for Sophie, has been stepped on by a T-Rex and let's keep it that way. Um, yeah, so it's, it's T-Rex party time. Yes, and then we went to Meridian where we encountered Aaron um, and did a little bit of sleuth work to figure out... Oh yes, that's true, the T-Rex did take out a cactus very dramatically, which our, our very own, um, my friend Kay, um, who's a fantastic artist, she and I go way back. We've done art together for a long, long time. Um, but she drew a picture of the cactus going flying, and then she drew a picture of Aloy suplexing the T-Rex, which is, is just amazing. So um, that's in, uh, I think she put that in either Creative Projects or the Stream Chat um, channel of our Discord. So if you want to go be amused by those pictures, <laughs> they're there. Um, but yeah, other than that, okay, yeah, so we, we, we met up with Aaron, did a little sleuth work to investigate uh, the guy whose name I don't remember who was the bad guy responsible for things, but turns out that he's being blackmailed. His family's lives are being threatened if he doesn't go through with um, what this cult organization is requiring him to do. Olin, thank you. Isn't that the name of the character in Pikmin? I feel like his name is similar to that. Um, but yeah, so having witnessed Detective Aloy on the case, with with that, Aaron was like, hey, could you help me with your detective Aloy skills figure out what happened to the guys who killed my sister because I'm a total wreck and we need to stop them. And why should you get, like, like I, I get that you are getting revenge for your people, but can we please get revenge for my sister too? And I was like, that's a good point. Did you see what just happened over there? Did you see that? Do you see what's going on over there? Do you see? Do you see? I'm sorry, my summary of things got distracted by the fact that there's some crocodiles. Three crocodiles, they seem like they travel in packs of three. I don't like them. I don't think I want to deal with them. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Where am I? How am I here? Oh, okay. But yes, yeah, so we went after, we went questing after Aaron's sister's place of supposed death. However, uh, upon arriving there, Aloy put together uh, her detective skills and concluded that actually it turns out that his sister's not dead. Of course, we had to fight some people and some machines along the way. Um, but yeah, now we're going to go investigate and see if we can rescue her, which I'm very excited about. And I want to give all of you credit for the fact that you didn't, when I said I was excited about meeting the sister, you didn't let on that she was dead and you didn't let on that she wasn't dead when I thanked you for not letting on that she was dead. So all of this is good. I appreciate it. Thank you for doing that. You have ex uh, exercised considerable, um, considerable restraint. Now, where am I going? Oh, all the way down there? Oh, oh, what was I gonna do? Why am I not, why did I not teleport there? Oh, probably because it was late. Was stream spoilers, has stream spoilers been going crazy about that? Probably, probably. All right, there's a vantage point over here, but in order to get to it, I might have to deal with some crocodiles, but I want the vantage point. Oh. You know what? We can try to- we can just teleport. 
the, oh, at the Palace of the Sun. Oh my god, that means we're going to go meet with the king. Yes. What's a side quest? Okay, yeah, no, we'll deal with that later. And we could go and do this, but I, I want to pursue the main story, I think. Well, this this story. This is the story I want to, I want to do. Uh, this one right here, I'm more interested in. Um, okay, how's this? We're going to try to go to this. If we die, we will teleport back to the city. But if there's one thing I care about consistently, it's this buddy right here. Okay, how do I get over there in a way that will not involve crocodiles? I don't want to deal with crocodiles. Do you want to deal with crocodiles? Probably not. They're really, really, really high on the don't mess with me list. Oh, goodness. Okay, there's got to be a way to do this. Hmm. Look out below! <laughs> Aloy's having a good time, at least. All right. All right. I also really want to go to a metal flower. Can I, oh, 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 looks like I can do a little thing here. Okay, we're gonna do this. I wanna get another one of those flowers because those flowers will uh, let us get a sense of like the poetry going forward. Look at this. Isn't this nice of them? They made a path so that I don't have to deal with the crocodiles. Okay, Kenny's gonna fight the crocodiles. I am going to take the high ground and avoid the crocodiles. Hello, crocodiles. No, you don't see me. I, I guess I could shoot them from up here. I could do that. Oh, there's four of them. Oh. Oh, no. What are you doing? They have weird AI. Oh my gosh. I just blow them all up. What are you doing, buddy? Did he just knock some rocks aside and then take a nap? Did he knock off some of his pieces and take a nap? What are those? Rocks? Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out the crocodile's behavior. Aloy, what are the crocodiles doing? Okay, there's a bunch of rocks. It's like they're trying to... I know, I hear the thunk, thunk, thunk. I know there's a thunk, thunk, thunk. I know, believe me. I did not miss the fact that there's a thunk, thunk, thunk. Oh, it's on the other side of that. Water. Look at that. Do you see how many crocodiles there are here, folks? Maybe I don't want to do this. On one hand, lore... On the other hand, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Five crocodiles. Because, like, I could try to cross over there where there's not crocodiles. If I really wanted to. What are you doing down there? Are they fighting with each other? They sure are making a lot of noise, aren't they? You know? What are they doing? What are you doing, buddy? It's not just me. These guys are weird. Right? Like, what's he doing? Why is he doing that? What are you doing? I don't know. I don't understand those guys, so we're just gonna go this way. Why did the music just become scarier? They don't see me. I. What are you doing, you weirdos? Sorry. They are being weirdos. Okay, I wonder how far this path will take me up here. I guess we'll follow it and find out. Are there more crocodiles? I mean, there's like multiple ones over here. God, there's so many crocodiles. I'm going to have to learn how to fight crocodiles, aren't I? <laughs> All right. I guess that's true. They don't need my approval, do they? Oh, 
Are you serious? There's crocodiles literally everywhere here. They're making a weird noise. I'm concerned about that noise. I'm concerned about, like, everything that's happening here. It's a little bit jarring to me how well I know that bird call. If any of you know birds and can tell me what that bird is. What is that? You hear that sound? You hear that sound? <laughs> Thanks, Chrono. What is... <gasps> Wait, is that... The tall neck that I found before? No, that's a new tall neck. There's a new tall neck. Yeah. Wow, all the way over there. My goodness. My goodness. Is that the one I can see? That's pretty far for me to be able to see it. Goodness gracious. Sorry. Just like... Huh. Alright, well, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I think I'm going to have to be less afraid of crocodiles to be able to do this. But I do appreciate that I've got this, like, lovely little spot to hang out in up here. God, there's so many of those guys. And I'm trying to figure out if those sounds that I keep hearing are crocodile sounds. And I wonder if crocodiles actually... Because they sound like they're talking. And I don't know if the other... Robots sound like, well, machines sound like they talk. You hear it, though, don't you? Yeah, like, that sounds like the sort of norm normal noise that I would expect from something like this. God, they're so... Maybe it's the vultures that are making that sound. This is such a dramatically different landscape, though. I, I really, really, really have to hand it to the people who made this game. We're going to teleport back to the city. I am scared. I am scared. <laughs> How did I get over here? I can't teleport there. I can't teleport there. I can teleport there. Where am I? Where am I? What am I doing? How did I get here? What is going on? Uh, shall we teleport back to town, folks? What is this? Oh, yeah. We could also choose to go do a little bit of Robin Hooding. And there's a bunch of stuffs down here. Oh, this looks like there's like there's a there's a town and a vantage point. Oh man. I'm gonna have to learn to fight. I'm going to have to learn to fight and be less afraid of those uh, crocodiles eventually. All right. Back to story. I have decided I am going to nope out of that. I think that's a little bit... <laughs> that's too many co crocodiles. There's so many of them. If they, if they come to each other's defense, if you're fighting four of them at once, what are you supposed to do? Drop a bomb on their heads? Mm. I mean, I suppose I could have tried to do a long distance fight thing there. But there's just so many of them. There's so many of them, and they can long distance fight you, and they're scary and hard and bad and, you know, just generally troublesome. So, yeah. To make areas safer. Is it just me, or is the, like, loading going slower today than usual? I want to... Apparently the Hunter's Lodge has stuff that I might be interested in, apparently. So I guess maybe I should actually do that. Maybe... I, you know what I should do? 
is I should get super high level and teleport back. I, I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Hi, Austin. Everything's going really slowly. What's going on here? Why is it so slow? I don't know. Okay, hold on, we're saving. Yes, overwrite the save data. Why is it so slow? Oh, the music needs, needs to update to not being surrounded by dinosaurs, too. All right, we have a couple of choices here. We can continue the Robin Hood story. We can continue the main story. Um, mm, there's somebody else with a quest. Can I get to that quest? At least I can run here without getting in trouble. How do I? Can I get through here? No, I can't. Oh god, it's so big. This place is very big. I don't know how to get in there or up there. I suppose it's probably up. There's so many people. There's. It's just so big. Do we want to try? Oh, look at that. There's something I haven't been to yet. Hold on, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna rob their stuff, unless this is like a rock. Oh, it's not a rock, okay, oops. Oh, I really wanna go in there. I don't know what's in there, but I bet it's important and therefore I want to go and investigate. But how do I get to, mm. I don't know. I do not know. Oh God, the music is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Just look at this place. It's so very, very, very different from... Sorry, I'm just distracted taking it all in. Like, look at this. They've got some, uh, some giant robots. Lots of stuff. It's interesting that they sell robot parts. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Yes, 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 I know. What is this? Have I seen the thing that uses that big arm? I don't... I don't know if I've seen that. But I don't like it. Alright. We could go to... The castle. Here. Which is a story thing that we know about. Or we could go down here. Well, hmm. The the thing is, you're wearing a funny helmet. Every resident of this city deserves safety and security. That's the deal. Ah, uh, that is a good deal. I like you, Osram Guard. So I don't have faith in them that I should have. Like I should believe that this is. You know, like I should be like, yes, they are good writers. They will do well, even if I have seen Robin Hood stories before. Oh, oh, this is the palace, isn't it? Oh, that's what the big story is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm torn. I'm torn. Do I trust them to make the Robin Hood story interesting instead of predictable, or at least sympathetic enough. What's up here? Is there a staircase? I haven't been up. Hold on. Go up the staircase, Aloy! Aloy, up the staircase! Al no! Is that an, in it's an invisible wall? It's an invisible wall! How dare they? Alright. We're gonna try to go... No, we're going here. Show me this. Hold on. Side quests. Robbing the rich. The thing is, they know that I know that it's Robin Hood because they've chosen to name it that. You know? What are you doing, guys? Okay. I feel like there's another way down that doesn't involve this, but we're gonna do this because this is the way that we're being shown. We can hang out with the guards while we're at it. Listen to this music. It's just really great. No, so by 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 choosing to call 
this robbing the rich. Like, they kind of let you know, like, straight away, oh. Will I eventually be able to go down here? Oh, you could have better self-esteem, buddy. Maybe you're, maybe you're cool. Give yourself some more credit. Um, okay. Am I going the right way? Uh, no. What? Uh, is there a way down? Is one of these a way down? Hold on, sorry. I'm being defeated by world building. Why do we sit there and do nothing about the shadow? Why do you sit there and do nothing about the shadow? Um, so as for how it's related to Robin Hood, um, obviously we have a rich person who has a thing and it has been stolen. Um, and it is going to be sold for something. Oh, use elevator. Haha. -ha! Aloy is not afraid of technology. That didn't work. Oh. Is it coming? Oh, it's coming. It sounds like it's coming. <laughs> Alright, I guess we sit here and we wait for it. I guess it's coming. Eventually. Oh man, I hope I don't have to wind up fighting enemies on the elevator someday. That would never happen. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't figure out how to make it not mod only. Look at how many securities. Like, they have multiple walls and things to keep you from. Okay. Now, how do I use this? Because if I just jump down there, I will die. Do you hear the birds? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, hold on, hold on. Aloy, what are you going to think about this, Aloy? Sorry. I will talk to you more about this later. I'm just... It's so loud. Such a racket. Oh. You don't really get a full outside view for the whole time. Oh, here we go. It's, it's raining? It's raining rocks? Royal Maze Lands. Goodness. Sorry, there's a guitar. Oh, it's raining. So the reason why I thought that it was Robin Hood is simply because they have called it robbing the rich. And so we have taken something from the rich people that we are going to sell in a way that is, that is good. And that if we were to see what's going on down here, it will make us feel that what's happening up there and that the stealing of, 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 of the sword Next they'll be running the place. is, uh, and then what? yes, yes, you're very friendly. Basically, if, if you can just see what we're doing, then you'll, then you'll understand. Okay. I was going to say those looked like. I was going to comment that those look like melon flowers and melon leaves, but there's melon right there, so you won't be impressed with me for saying that it looks like melons, because it's clearly melons. Hi. Goodness. This is neat. So they have, I guess, sort of a... Is it, is it an aqueduct system? Oh no, the Ostrom girls are filling her head with dangerous nonsense. All right, here is some corn. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, okay. We'll go, oh good, they've got snap josh. What is this, Florida? Just got some crocodiles just like hanging out right outside of town. Oops. Don't go in the water, Aloy. Oh, see, this isn't elevated. Like some of the, the ones are like on little elevated things. Yeah, no, I'm sorry that the I'm sorry that the command is still mod only. So if mods could uh could help make the quotes be added when the quotes need to be added. Look at this though. Just look at this. You can see the elevator and the counterweight of it going on there. Fascinating. Hold on, I should probably pull out my um ability to sense things and see if there's anything I can sense here. Man. Fish? Don't like that. Campfire. Do like that. I don't actually like fires, but it's a lot of geese 
Hello, don't mind me. I'm just a just a Nora girl jumping around. All right. Okay, so it's night time. The water mill. So I wonder actually if what they're doing is buying people back from human trafficking because we, why is there a piggy in the middle of the street? Hi, piggy! Um, they've established that that's a problem here and that's a part of the world. Um, and so we're going to take something that's very expensive and trade it for people's lives becomes a more sympathetic thing. Because we're obviously robbing the rich. Because the, the, the saying... Just in case anyone isn't familiar with it, it's it's it's, it's rob the rich to feed the poor. Is the is the the Robin Hood quote? There's a lot of honks and oh, I wouldn't do very well with that. Can I go now? Hello, children. I should probably actually go where I'm going, but look at this. We've got pumpkins. So I assume that these are plants that are actually indigenous to this part of the world. Pumpkins, watermelons, um, corn I know is. Man, look at that. They really, I'm sorry, I've completely gotten off track. Look at this. Look at this! They've actually thought about how the people in this world, with the level of technology that they have, would be able to... Okay. guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. They figured out, you know, which, which real-world society, historically speaking, would have a level of technology equivalent to the Karja, or, or the Osram and the Karja, and they've used that um, as inspiration to make the the this place feel real. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, an irrigation system. And it does, it feels, it feels alive. It makes the world feel a lot more alive. Um, it's a really nice touch, a really good decision. And it also, yes, having seen um, the like kind of hunter-gatherer way of life that is norm, the norm for, um, wait, wait, hold on, what are you carrying? We don't need any more outlanders hereabouts. I'm checking what's in your... Are those apples? I guess they are. Oh, I got in her way. She didn't like that. Um, it is very different. Um, but the thing is, a lot of times, I feel like games create... Like, they'll put, like, a farm because they know that there should be farms. But they haven't really thought all the way through the level of technology that that farm would have. Um, and... Given how important the world is in this game and given how important technology is, like it makes sense that they would put a lot of thought into that. Like they must have done like an extensive amount of research. Hello, what are you doing? Whew. Nothing like taking a breath on a long day. You're blue. Why are you blue? Are cars are people blue? They're not. It's just the lighting, Lauren. Don't be silly. All right. Oh my gosh, just like look at oops. I'm jumping in your irrigation system. Look at this beautiful beadwork. Look at the beautiful beadwork on this. <laughs> oh, Chrono, that's funny. So here's everyone having dinner together, communal meal. We're uh, eating had enough of work. Corn. Family. Apples. Ah. Uh. I don't know what those are. Hmm, I don't know what those are, no. Alright, well onward we go. My bones are tired. I've been working too long. Yeah, just like looking at how effective the irrigation system here is. What is that? Sorry, I I'm distracted. I'm very distractible today. It's geese. Lots of geese. I wonder if they are horrible, if they will make the day bad. All right, so we're going to run along this way. And not worry so much about making noise here. Watch me get jumped by a crocodile because of my... Uh... Um... That looks like an angry cat. I don't know if I know what that one is. So, uh... I guess we'll figure it out. Am I going the wrong way? I am, aren't I? Hold on. 
Oh, I have to actually cross this little bridge. What's that? What's that? Let's let's go see what that is over there. They've got a boat. It's just a plant right here. Hold on. Corruption glaze root, sure. Oh man, look at the boat. So that thing right there looks like that's for guiding oars. Nicely constructed. Functional, not overly beautiful. I, I want to go look. I bet, I bet that they're going to send me... They'll probably send me on a quest through the village, actually, at some point. To, uh, to make sure that I actually see the things um, that they want me to see. So that the world can be kind of brought to life for me. Sure, let's go over here. Let's see what's happening. Royal Maze Lands. The whole point of this village is to grow corn for the... Oh, hello. What are you doing over here? Not get... Oh! Um. <laughs> that was not very well positioned, my friends. It's a lot of this. Oh, maybe this is going to be healing stuff? Yes, good. Yeah, because there's a shortage of healing supplies in the in the desert, which kind of makes sense. There's not as many plants. There's going to be crocodiles around here somewhere. I just know it. But now that we're in a place where plants grow again, just lushly, like seriously, look, look at how beautiful it is. Look at how much greenery there is. There's nowhere else we've seen in the game that is nearly as green and alive as this, you know? Oh, it's scary. I'm going the wrong way. I think I want to go this way. Yes, this is the way. Is there a storm coming on? Is that way the music is getting sort of scary? Oh, hello. I guess it must be time to eat. Hello. Who are you? You're cool looking. Who are you? What are you? Okay. You look like you might be Osirum. All right. <sighs> Sorry. It is really magnificent like the world is 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 really interesting here i probably shouldn't be tromping around as fast as i am making as much noise as i am all right and look at this we're getting some healing items back to make up for dying horribly the music got creepy because it's hello this is the water mill did you hear the one about the boar the grazer and the sun priest Yes, yes, you're very friendly. Hello, what are we doing in here? What's going on in here? You are not wearing a shirt, sir. Move along. You have no need to loiter around here. Kindiv. Take a look. Let's see. Kindiv, you're important. Let's see if I notice anything else. I'm just going to scope this place out with my detective vision. Alright, well, my detective vision isn't picking up on anything. Is my Lauren vision picking up on anything? No, but this this definitely has the feel of a secret hideaway or something like that. What are you What are you doing here? Are you going to be my favorite new rebel? Let's find out. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. He's strange looking. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. <laughs> collect valuable objects. That's a nice little bit of euphemism there. Um. Alright. You mean you steal. <laughs> if you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Eat the rich. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them. Of wealth and contentment. While people beneath him suffer. So this is interesting because we are predisposed immediately to side with the uh, the poor who are being supported by this. Um, but it is true that the guy that we spoke to didn't seem particularly like particularly evil. Um, who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. Here we go. They starved to death, still bound together. 
Kind. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Yes, he wants the sword for purely sentimental reasons, but he's also concerned, if I remember correctly, about his grandson, who was, I believe, I think it was his grandson, was forced um, to go with the shadow, um, Shadow Karja, um, because he was a, like, I, I believe he was, like, the the guard serving the, the priests at the time or something like that. So, so, like, they are establishing the humanity of the people on that side of things. Um, so Sunfall, I'm trying to remember which place Sunfall is and shadow side what that means because that will be significant where's the sword now safe I haven't sold it yet so like so like I'm immediately predisposed to to trust this guy and like this guy more than the people up there but like this guy hasn't been like overwhelmingly like kind and good and charming and wonderful either because they have, I think, a more nuanced understanding of people. I will say this makes me think of the characterization of Jet from Avatar The Last Airbender. I don't want to spoil that for anyone who hasn't watched Avatar The Last Airbender, but it's, it's extremely well done. They got me. They knew what they were doing. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? It's up to you. I was hoping you'd help us. <laughs> they say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Don't look to me for help. My duty is to guard. I don't get involved in politics. <laughs> oh my goodness. 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 That is a loaded line right there. I'm sorry. Whew. Whew. Okay, so... A fork in the road. So we're going to go back up there, huh? All right. Well, we're going to be going up there anyway, because that's where um, the sister was taken to, I guess, must be to Sunfall. Sunfall must be where the Shadow Karja have set up their, their camp. Um, City of the Sun excavation site. Yeah, sorry. Um... I am, uh, I am, I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very distractible right now. <laughs> Sorry. God, there's so much stuff on this map. My goodness, there's so much stuff on this map. Um, uh, what was I going to say? What was I, what was I, what, 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 what was I saying? The line was just, I'm a, I'm a guard. I stay out of politics. All I do is guard. Um, and it's just basically like, I won't help these people, but I won't hurt these people. Like, I'm not involved in this in any way. I just stand here and make sure there's no trouble. Um, we can go pick up another quest just in case there's more quests that we can do along the way at the same time because I assume we're going to be heading to the direction heading in the direction rather of um, I assume these quests are going to overlap is this so oh, I bet you don't want to go swimming here I bet there's just going to be crocodiles that could just show up at any point. Where was the... Somewhere here was an exclamation point. I need to find that exclamation point, I guess. So we're going to go back and do this. Um, but yeah, okay, so to make sure that I understand... What, what's, what's hanging out over there? Hold on. What is that glowing all evilly blue? What's over there? Hold on, I want to check it out. I want to see what it is. Sorry, folks. I saw something and I don't know if I know it so we're gonna creep over here and see what it is chargers oh okay I have met them before all right cool well we're not gonna be messing with them just gonna let them do their little charger thing and go this way um, 
So, to make sure that I understand, what this guy is saying is that they're stealing from the rich here in Meridian and using that to buy food that they are bringing to the impoverished, uh, enslaved workers, I guess. Enslaved is a better word for it. Um, that, that have been stolen by the Shadow Karja. Because the people who are being forced to work for the Shadow Karja are starving to death if the Shadow Karja is left to their own devices. Why don't we just break them all out of there? And bring them here. Start a, an uprising, Aloy. I'm... I'm sure that the person that we have met who is a named character with an interesting personality and backstory won't have anything to do with... Oh, I thought there was another... I thought there was another question. I'm on the wrong way. Aren't I? I thought there was a... I thought there was another exclamation point in town. I guess I was wrong. I want to go to this, actually, so that I can warp there. Hold on. Keep your hands to yourself. We're, we're gonna go warp. We're gonna go make it so we can warp there. Um... I wonder if Nikoa is going to help start an uprising there. Because her story can't be over. Her story is largely a story that is about um, enslavement and freedom and so on. So, you know, it could happen. Because to me, that feels like that. He murdered the captain of the Vanguard. How are we not attacking Sunfall this very moment? Okay, yeah, so Sunfall is the, the main city of... I want there to be... I wanna... I want to read your stuff, people! Where is your stuff for me to read? Come on! I don't know, but I can teleport here now, so that's good. Aha! There is an extra exclamation point here. I thought I saw one. All right. Metal bot here. Good prices. Fair prices. Hello, you have a hat. What's up? Smiling around and oh, that that name makes me think that you might be a you might be some sort of a a, a, a ne'er do well. Perhaps this is some sort of an under like underground crime. Fairest prices no? for machine parts under the mesa. Okay. No tithes to the sun court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. I love this. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. <laughs> Silent partner. I like his accent. If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. Ah, uh, okay. So which, uh... No market for a snap maw lens It's good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Uh, hello? <laughs> I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship <sighs> is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. Oh what you need is good old fashioned plain. Oh yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Okay, so the Karja and the Osram worked together on those elevators. I was wondering, that's why if you heard me like talking about like the Karja and the Osram, when I was talking about the level of technology here. That's interesting, though, because 
it hasn't been all that long that they've been working together. So I do kind of wonder what this was like before that. I guess everyone had to go up the long way. So this would have been a major, major improvement for the people who live in Meridian. It's almost as though if we work together and learn from each other's ideas and help each other out, everyone benefits. All right, Aloy is getting annoyed. Look at her face. She's like, oh my god, I can't get a word in edgewise with you two boys. Enough. Well, they're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. <sighs> no tithes to the Sun Court. Like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap my lens. Fine. Yeah, there definitely has been. All right. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait. You drove her off. Snap my lens. What do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress. Long leg lens. I. Hunters, grounders, bring us your metal. But those damn shit. Demand and supply. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I do the calling. You do the count. Are they going to be a trading mini game thing? Complain about your counting other than it takes too long. Oh my God, they're still going. I wouldn't have to check it twice if you stopped moaning in my ear. Oh my God, those two. What am I gonna do with those two? What's that? Sun King Avad has tried to make up for his father's brutality. I'll give him that. Okay. Yes, he does seem like he has genuinely committed to trying to do his best with that. Well, he never did save at that, but I guess. Hmm. What is that then? If it's a glowy. Oh, it's a watcher body. Oh my goodness. They've hung That's up the robot really corpses. Nice. That's fascinating. Because you gotta strip them for parts that you can actually use because if you're not Nora, then you're not afraid to use machine parts and things. What do we got here? All right, here is this campfire. I should progress the story, and we will. Just see this one. You'll notice is raised up. I don't know what that makes a difference. But... What is that? Supply crate. Cool. But what's that? Floating up there. What is that? Oh, it looks like that's just a thing that's like attached to like a roof or something like that. Man. Yeah. There's another. Oh, here we go. There's another quest. I guess we'll take that quest. My family might still be alive. And you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond. Oh, hello. Sorry. I did not mean to interrupt that. I wanted to listen to that. Hello, you look like a priest of some sort. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. All right. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A ravager. By the sun, how it cut oh. down those guards, and a pack of watchers came with it. Oh. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but her father never saw this coming. This poor guy. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. Oh, so we didn't want to leave it. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister us a dozen guards and servants I hope they survived it's interesting that he answers about the what is rich about his estate first I'll see what I can do about the estate you will oh thank you oh please be careful those machines are deadly all right so he's just a rich kid he's not uh he's not fatal inheritance oh that that sounds like bad news I'm not sure exactly how that's bad news, but... I really just... I just want to snoop on people's stuff. Is that so hard? 
I just wanted to read all of your trashy magazines. <sighs> I guess it is so hard. No trashy magazines for Lauren. I'm going to be really lazy. I'm going to teleport up here. And then we're going to go do that. Okay? Because that seems like that might be faster. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I don't really want to go find a fight and fight a fire chicken. I think the snap mall lens I only have because I found it in some chest that I got or something like that. So like of the world. Okay. So we'll go and do that later. That's but now right. let us go visit the king. I really want to meet the king. That is one of one of my clearly stated goals is that I was hoping we'd meet the king. I was very interested in him as a character. Um, cause it's a, it's an interesting thing to be like this, you know, this man was raised by, well, so my current working theory about the former king is that he may have been, um, hold on, am I going the right way? This is not what I want, actually. No, it's going the wrong way. I feel like... Wait. No, no, no! This one. Mark that one. Okay. Good. Much better. Thank you. Whew. It's finally going the right way. Um. My, uh... Where is the... How do I get to the king? How do I get to the king? bandits try to get past me, they'll have a fight. Mark my words. Hold on. There's got to be a way to do this. I'm looking the wrong way. Okay. Okay. We're going to go this way. We're going to go through here. There's a lot of guards here. What was I saying? I was saying something. I'm sorry. I'm having a very difficult time focusing today. Shockingly, I had a hard time sleeping last night, as I suspect many people did. So I'm a, I'm a little bit more fragmented mentally than usual. Hello. We'll go this way. Hello, guards. They all look very impressive. Look at how beautiful and stately this is. Yes, the former king was... My current working theory is that the former king was corrupted. And that that is why he was doing such horrible and terrible things. That because we saw in um we saw in a in a loading screen detail, I think it was, that corruption causes madness in humans. And he's a mad king. And pres so presumably he wasn't always the way that he was, but he was like that for a while. Hello. Blameless Maraud. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. Yes, that's correct. What do you correct. mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Ah, I see. Follow me, please. This guy looks so much All like- All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. His face looks like a real person. The Sun person. King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. <laughs> That's a good line. He has... Uh, does he have an injured leg? Passed by some outlander woman? That's right. This Nora is going to the front of the line. And you... you better believe Ignore it. Them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this What's man. Like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. I trust you. I trust you, sir. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osirons. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. 
Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace. In the an agent. Basement. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murat. Let me discuss it with her privately. Interesting. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Yeah. Well, you know, my biggest complaint about this game had been that there weren't enough NPCs in the contemporary time that I cared about. I and I was like, they write strange still to dialogue, but I know that they're right. They're good at coming up with characters and they're good at voice because I've I've seen their stuff in the past, like their 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 past stuff. Blameless Maraud. Okay, first of all, Blameless Maraud is clearly the king's intelligence, um, the the guy who's in charge of intelligence. He's an agent investigating. He reminds me of someone, and I don't know who it is, but whoever it is that he reminds me of makes me more inclined to like and trust him. The king is exactly what I hoped he would be. He's he's clearly very human. You can see because in order to make this game work, you have to be able to really feel the emotion in the people's faces, and you can see he's very genuine. And there's just there's this, there's the moment when Aaron and Murad and the king are all talking. And, and Aloy is standing there, and you're close, standing in close with them. Um, where, like, there's a familiarity of the, of the three of them talking about the situation that feels like you're in the middle of a scene in a movie, you know, that you're, that you're, that you're part of something that's been going on before you showed up, and it'll continue after you leave. Um, it's really good. I'm really interested. How is this optional? I, I can't be optional. The Karja makeup is really interesting and I'm really, really curious if people cosplay as them. I love how complicated, like the king has this like, these like gold things going down here. His outfit is very interesting. Um, the Karja have a lot of relative shirtlessness, um, which makes sense, at least here in Meridian, um, because it's very hot <laughs> climate. Um, but it kind of makes me think a little bit of um, uh, Spira. Final Fantasy X, which is also a tropical place, and so there's a lot of clothing optional, shirts optional. So I'm curious then, the, so this king, like, I, I want to know his story. I find him really interesting as a character. Like, the more I know about him and his story, knowing that his beloved brother was ordered executed by his father, and that was the last straw, and it was when that happened that he was like, I need to stop my father by force, and then he does it, despite everything. And like, what is, what is his relationship with his religion? I really want to know. He's the holy leader of his people. Is he a true believer? Or is he doing kind of what he has to do because he takes his, his responsibility to his people seriously regardless of that? He and Ursa like, are like dedicated to, 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 to like, basically dedicated to the death of each other, I think. Um, it's, just, it's really interesting. I want to read a book that is the story of the king connecting with Ursa and Erend. Um, don't you want to read that as a book? Wouldn't that be interesting to get to know those characters? Because it feels like what we're coming in here, and maybe, maybe this is something that they're really good at as writers, is having a story that they've created that you step into, you know, um, and it feels real and detailed, and the people in it have a lot of their... Um, a lot of their like like the the emotional complexity you can feel it the, their relationships you can feel it the situation the circumstances you can feel it you can believe it you're getting tantalizing little bits of it you're not in that story you know um but you walk into it and you know that it's happened and you want to hear about it and so that makes that little encounter with just the, with those three talking it makes them it, it gives it gives like a, a, a context to to that scene because we know some of this prior story um it's really good 
I just I hope that they can make the things that we continue to do and experience with Aloy have some of the resonance that the things that have happened in the past have, even in the recent past in this case. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep talking and see how this well I, I'm I'm gonna keep I'm gonna stop talking and Aloy is gonna keep talking is what we're gonna do. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Oh. Without her Asaram Vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you yeah. see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. To keep the peace. Yes. Yes, not only does he have a personal connection to her, obviously, but also she will help him keep peace between their people. And that is incredibly important to him. He kind of makes me think of a certain prince, king, lord figure from uh, Star Starblood, actually. Not that he has the same personality at all, um, but there's, there's, there's something of him that is, that is similar to that. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the sun ring. Yeah. Okay. So when he says that his father truly thought of himself as a sun god... I think we're going to find somebody with a complicated relationship with his people's faith and his role in it. Which could explain why they have a spin to cover how he was able to take out the old king. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? Yeah. He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Relatively peacefully. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I would love to learn more about the Karja Sundam from him. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. Yes. By all means. His voice actor does a very good job. I get to ask all of these questions that I said I wanted to ask of the king. Very good. The people who wrote this game know me. They know what I want. They're like, all right, Lauren, here you go. Thank you. That's very considerate of you, Horizon Zero Dawn team. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? Mm. They say you can see the invisible. Split an arrow at 50 paces and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? Oh, that's a good answer. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. <laughs> yeah, this guy's good. I'm a, I'm a sucker for, a, as it turns out, thanks to Sir... To, to, to one to one uh, mr mr King Edgar Figaro it uh, turns out I have a I have a soft spot for kings who are absolutely 100% dedicated to their people um, and take their role and, and view their role as king as their responsibility to their people instead of their people is there to serve them so yeah I like this guy I like him he's clever he's thoughtful he's he's quick he's compassionate quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. <laughs> Thank you. You don't approve. Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. Oh, good. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. That's a way to keep yourself from being will executed. It happen at all good. While men live in palaces. It might. Eventually. If 
people like you help me bring it about. Okay. Yeah, no, and so there are other stories that I do not wish to spoil for people in which um, perhaps the, the young royalty decide that they wish to make major significant changes to, to remove the um, inequality and unfairness in their, in their place. And then they're in their country, in their home, and uh, are, are killed by their own people for doing so. Um, so, it's actually wise of him to be like, we can't do this overnight. Aloy, of course, doesn't understand that because this, she doesn't have the context to understand that. Um, but, uh, but I wonder if she wouldn't have taken him to task for that if we hadn't been down below. We'll see. Your politics seem... Very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. <laughs> well, I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. Eldermen? So have many Karja nobles. Okay. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. I mean, you can kind of understand. Oh, oh yes, please do tell me about the Shadow Karja and your other brother. That's going to be interesting. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Okay, we'll go there. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Ah, okay. Well, that was good and interesting. I like characters who will talk circles around you rather than um, rather than straight up admitting to something that they really shouldn't be admitting, such as not um, not being a true believer of the of the faith in which they are the central holy figure for their people. I honestly, Chrono, this doesn't seem like the sort of game that's going to be like, gotcha, you thought you could trust these people. The fact that the writers sh have created nil with compassion, they've written nil with compassion, tells me that they're not going to be grimdark edgelords who want to show you that actually even good kings can be brought down. Actually, seemingly good people are actually evil. I don't think they're going to do that, which I'm glad for. Even Olin has motivation for doing what he does, so. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Maraud, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. We're gonna do that. Oh my god, I love that she calls him on that. Okay, please tell me that he has an incredible amount of people loving him as a character. Please tell me that Avad is really popular. He deserves to be. Hold on, we gotta read his book. Hold on. Founding of Meridian. Shall we? A scribe's book of carefully copied glyphs. All right, I'm going to read something out loud to you. Ready to go. Let's do it. The Founding of Meridian. Oh, this is going to be a different tone of voice than what we've been reading, I think. We are Karja. In us is the blood of those led by Araman from persecution and pursuit so long ago. Out of the far savage east we came, guardians of a treasure greater than land or metal, the leaves of the old ones. Araman found the leaves in a ruin picked out by a beam of sunlight, and he recognized at once their importance. Within was etched the first teachings of how to observe the sun, to recognize its guidance, and to understand the place of man. From out of the leaves came the first glyphs, the first writing, so our knowledge could last longer than voices. But when our forefathers offered to share this gift, they were driven out by those they had once called tribesfolk. 
These ones feared to have the light of knowledge brought to bear on their ignorance, or were jealous of its power. And so began the long wandering of our people, trusting only that the sun would guide them and deliver them from the barbarian tribes. The path was hard and marked by the stones of families who fell along the wayside, even Araman's own. The persecution was unceasing from those without purpose, only the desire to debase and destroy. But the faith of the Karja was rewarded with a distant vision, a tower like a solid ray of the sun holding on the horizon, flashing. Even as their enemies descended upon them, Araman followed the flight of the glint hawks, leading his people through looming canyons and teeming jungles. Again they saw the tower, so close now it seemed to reach to the very sun itself and they saw that the glint hawks perched upon it. Beheld in the light of the sun, the tower, the spire, cast its long shadow upon a mesa across the verdant valley. Araman knew he had found a haven for the tribe, as this was a place shunned by those without his faith, who cowered from the magnificence of the spire or the shining feathers of the glint hawks. He named this place Meridian from a passage in the leaves and the tribe settled in the protection of the Great Mesa. They found this site was blessed in every respect, carving their cliff houses from the bounteous resources, and in time from the red rock of the Mesa itself, crowning it with the first columns of the City of the Sun. Truly, the Sun gave much to the descendants of our forefathers, granting Meridian great harvests and prosperity, and the bounds of the Sundom for as, long, for as far as its light touched. Truly the sun gave much to the descendants of our forefathers, granting Meridian great harvests and prosperity, and the bounds of the sundom for as far as its light touched. That sentence structure, sorry. In time, seeing Meridian shielded us, in time, seeing Meridian shielded us from the dark arrows and plots of our foes, other foreigners brought trade and tribute. Holy Meridian, without spire and sun, there would be no Meridian, but now and forevermore it stands as a monument to both, and the glory of Araman and the founders is reflected anew in each sun king of the radiant line and the noble houses of the sun court. They don't feel like Aztecs to me, actually. This feels more like, um, well, frankly, this feels more like the Mormons escaping persecution into the desert and, and, and creating a home there, <sighs> you know? I feel like they've done what is a wise thing to do, which is to pull inspiration from many very different sources in real world culture and real world history. Um, so that instead of being able to just say straight up, this culture is this real world, like it's, it's an analog for the specific real world thing. Um, it's more complicated than that, which I think is, a, I think is, is the way to do it. Um, so the far savage east is clearly referring to, which actually this leads into, so I hope you don't mind, we're just going to dive right into Lauren talks about the thing. The far savage east, I believe, is referring to the Nora, which makes perfect sense. They are people who would cast you out for finding and, 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 and using forbidden knowledge, um, which, which, would, which would support my theory that the Nora that's the cradle, the birthplace of new civilization. That's where humans re-emerged into the world from and then wound their way from that place to other places. Um, so I'm really curious. Do they use the Latin alphabet? I don't think I've noticed that. Um, but I'm really curious what text they read that had Meridian in it and told them how to observe the sun, how to worship the sun, to recognize its guidance and to understand the place of man. I wonder what real world text that would have been because the leaves of the old ones, that clearly is referring to, to books. And something that we've read has talked about the books have since Araman's texts have crumbled. Um, but so their writing is based on our writing they were cast out by the Nora and they wandered through other tribes and other people until they found a distant vision, a tower like a solid ray of the sun. So this tells me, 
excuse me. This tells me that, um, oh no, Sleeping Bee, the, the glyphs just refers to the writing system that they use, um, which I think is based on, um, based on, I would assume, the same characters that we use. Um, like, like, I, I guess, I guess, uh, I don't know. Especially knowing that they're located in North America and not Latin America. Um, I don't know exactly where we are. I don't know if we've concluded exactly which state we're in right now, but I believe we're still in the U.S. I might be mistaken, but I didn't think we'd gone that far south. Um, so the glint hawks are apparently significant in some way to, I think this is the first we've heard of the glint hawks having significance to the Karja. That's really interesting. Um, so the spire clearly, yes, Aloy can read it when she learned most of what she knows from the focus and the focus is from our near future. So, so I, I think it makes sense for it to be the Latin alphabet. I was wondering how it is that the focus can read it. Um, but that would make sense if they're using the same lang the same letters. Then the focus can make sense of that, especially if it's a descendant of that language. I think we're outside of Colorado. I think we're probably in. My guess would be New Mexico or Arizona. Um, somebody said that they thought we're a little too far out to have reached the Grand Canyon, though. So, I think New Mexico is where we decided. Recognizable but smaller scale. Um, yeah, well, because um, Mesa, the, the Mesas are in that part of the world, but I think not Colorado. Um, but so the the spire predates, the spire predates mo modern society. The spire presumably is pre-apocalyptic, which makes me feel that the spire is going to be, because it doesn't, you see, the spire doesn't look like something that would be created by our society, and it is not something that I recognize. So it could be something from the near future that is just a futuristic tower, or it could be rather like the vaults. Um, and frankly, I'm going to take another look at it, but my current... not really founded on anything except for its general strangeness is that I think it might have been created by whatever created the vaults. So. So, yeah. Um... Glint Hawks. What is the significance of the Glint Hawks? I guess we'll find out. Okay, well, that's interesting. Avad is a cool character. I like him a lot. He manages to be sort of archetypal, but very much his own person. He feels very real and alive. And I'm really looking forward to learning more about him and his brothers and his father and what has happened. So he's here reading. He's reading. Sitting in his, his holy space. The space of... I wonder what goes down there. I wonder if what's down there is actually where the arena was where people would, would have been sacrificed. I'm not sure what kind of sacrifice it was. Like, I, I, I thought that it was like gladiators. Because I thought that there were people who could survive it. Um, obviously, um, children aren't going to. But I thought that that was part of the thing. Um, Gregor. Oh, yes. Yes, he does. He does. There's another. There's another example of uh, of somebody who is born into a leadership role and takes that very seriously and his responsibility to his people seriously and wants to do better. So I I, I, I feel like I wonder if this is the ring then where the the sacrifices happened because I'm pretty sure that it was like we will loose the machines. Okay, so here's these people. I want to jump around there. Can I? Oh, they probably made it so I can't jump. They're probably like, this is too, this is unjumpable, Lauren. Sorry. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go in here. Oh, hello, friend. What's up, Aaron? So, I thought Ursa was dead. <laughs> and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. I really like Aaron. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Ah, I'm sure that he's very, um, I'm sure he's very competent and I'm sure his people are competent too. All right, let's get some information here. 
Might be surprised to learn what the top horizon ship on AO3 is. Is it characters I've met already? All right, let's get some more information here. What would my guess be? Of who the most popular ship on AO3? I don't feel like I've met enough characters, but maybe I have. Does it have, does it involve Aloy? Because she hasn't seemed interested in anyone except for the um, Varl's sister at the very beginning. So. All of the top ten, my goodness. Alright then. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to just go through and ask these questions, if you don't mind. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durvald? Well, we were both under his command for a while. Sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But yeah. then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Huh. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dunbag. That's a good one, Aaron. Thank you. All right. So he got real creepy to her. And I'm sure that that doesn't contribute to his recent actions either. Wow! Horizon Zero Dawn fandom, Aloy and Aaron is the most popular pairing? That's bizarre! I just automatically assume that on AO3 the most popular pairing is going to be um, likely some sort of a queer pairing. I don't know why I just make that assumption. But that's bizarre. Aloy and Nil? Is it... I don't know, man. I... I don't understand fandom sometimes. That's fine. Alright, let's ask him about Avad. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yes. Yeah. Those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. <laughs> oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her. And kicking Durval's ass. I love Aaron. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's like, no, I really don't think the king's her type. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> I better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. Honestly, I would believe the fandom. I would believe a fandom with Avad and Nil sooner than Aloy with either of those two. I don't know what that says about me and my understanding of fandom. Yeah, I would assume that the most popular pairing for Aloy would be her and some girl. Like, I'm sorry, Aloy has only shown interest in a girl so far so all right let's talk to blameless maraud i really like him aloy how can i be of service it's obvious that you're an advisor to the sun king but what is it you do exactly intelligence whatever is needed of course are you always so evasive yep yes he is it depends <laughs> <laughs> oh my god they are smart asses the writers and the character thank you they, they they wrote that line and then they had a very serious giggle to themselves. They were like, ha ha, that's funny. That is funny. Well done. <laughs> she could just straight up ask him if he's a spy. Excuse me, actually, a spy is... is but then I say the person responsible for gathering intelligence, yes. <laughs> it's my interpretation of Locke in Darkness and Starlight. Is that he, he, one of the things that he does is he's a spy. He gathers intelligence. I don't know. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. Yes, he does. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. <laughs> it was the best I could do for the Sundom. Mm. What did you do? Mm. Nothing I could be blamed for. <laughs> it's in his name. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. All right. He wants, he wants Aloy to know this about him. He is dropping hints that he doesn't need to drop and enjoying the fact that they are hints that he is dropping. <sighs> which, which I think means he's taken her measure and he likes and respects her and he 
is establishing a friendship in the way that he does friendship. Yeah. Sounds to me like you're a spy. <laughs> there are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. That is a line I would have written. I'm sorry, I am enjoying this very much. Maybe that's why I like this guy. Maybe he feels like a character I would write. <laughs> sorry. I want to write more. Try not to be intimidated by how good some of the writing in the world is. Just tell my stories, for better or for worse. All right. I trust him, but I also don't trust him to tell me the truth. If that makes sense, I trust I trust him to have a moral compass that he follows, and it seems like a good one to me. Um, and I trust him to follow that. And you just have to hope that you align with that. <laughs> So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? <laughs> well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. Whatever, no, it's amazing. So <laughs> oh my god, he's the best. Oh my god, he's the best. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. This guy looks like he could be related to my old boss who was kind of like my ultimate mentor for years and years and kind of served as like a surrogate mom figure for me. That's why I trust him. He kind of makes me think of my old boss Camille and the way he looks. That's funny. I I really like him though. He's really funny. His dialogue is great. The delivery is really well done and his design is very effective. Like all of these characters, they've done a really good job. They wanted to make the king and his head spy, his head of intelligence, look really awesome and they succeeded. And they wanted, um, they wanted Aaron to look like just some guy, and they did a good job with that too. Oh, oh, oh! Isn't that the guy that has the 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 panicking gay doctor video from Deep Space Nine that is really wonderful, and it has made me want to watch Deep Space Nine again because I haven't seen it since I was a little girl. If you haven't seen it, someone on the internet decided to like put like little like captions all around the scene of this doctor meeting a very simple tailor. I think it's a tailor. Um, <laughs> who's clearly not a spy. Definitely not a spy. Absolutely hitting on him. And he's absolutely panicking about it in the best. It's amazing. It's great. It's fantastic. It alone sold me on. Everyone's been telling me I should rewatch Deep Space Nine now that I'm a grown up. And that more than anything made me feel like I I've, 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 I've read about the fanfic reading. It's very exciting. Anyway, this so finish up this little thread of conversation before <laughs> it's too sidetracked. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. That's... I prefer likely or probably. That's a good answer. How many Osirum are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? Oh, that's right. Made Ursa, so... Hmm. More than one? Not likely. Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead. Especially. That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. Oh my god. I love this character so much. Oh my god. I have to go. Then you must. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he cracks me up. He's amazing. He's incredible. He's great. Oh, oh, he's fantastic. Oh, they could not have done him better if they tried. They, they, they decided to do a thing, and I'm really... Look at that. Look at that. It's an illuminated manuscript of sorts. Oh, 
All right, the Sun King. Let's view the notebook and see. Quests, notebook, date point. I'm gonna read another thing out loud to you. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm just enjoying this right now. So I'm not like, oh, this is the first one in the series. Okay, I'm just enjoying this more than speculating about things. All right. That name sounds familiar. Why do I know that name? All right. A record made on sun-worn parchment, its glyphs inlaid with golden detailing. All right. Let's do this. The Chronicle of the Sun Kings. The founder, Araman, who guided our forefathers from the shadows of the savage east into the fastness of the Mesa Valley, and who, reading the signs of sun and shadow both, delivered them to the sight of Holy Meridian. The bounteous Amavad, who oversaw the clearing and sowing of the royal Maeslands so that none who walked in the sun's favor should go hungry again, who cut back the jewel to claim the rich estate lands for the first houses of the sun court. The far-seeing Sadahin, who expanded the sun's dominion to the north, south, and east, setting a gate at Bright Market Harbor, and who, before the sun was, and who, before the sun at its highest, proclaimed these lands would be known as the Karja Sundom, so by the light it was good. Generous Juadan, who stocked the metal markets with the spoils of his own trampler hunts and who allowed trade from north and south, even permitting outlanders the gift of the counting glyphs so they might understand more than simple barter. Zavarad, the pilgrim sun king, whose tower was raised to the top of the ridge of veils and who crossed the great waters of the daybreak so the sundom might extend ever further, and to honor this passage had the great blazon arch raised on the far shores. Bold Eriv, who saw the sun's passing into the west as a challenge and forged after it with a great army to be pushed back three times at the great canyon lands that would be that would be known as the daunt until on the fourth time his cohort broke through and were vanished in the lands beyond prudent basadid who had the mantle of his fallen brother thrust upon him suddenly who ordered the construction of the fortress of sunfall and the garrison at blazon arch declaring the land beyond it the forbidden west where only the sun may go. Kuvadin, the returner, who strove to bring civilization to the savage east, but returned after many strenuous endeavors, saying it was no longer fit for the people of the sun, and called for the building of great towers and walls so this wild land might be observed safely. Renan, the firebird, who saw the sundom suffer unprovoked attack by the Tenak Tanakh Horde, and who, against the protests of his advisers, accompanied his army to confront them. Under the, scar under the sun he claimed victory, though he was so greatly scarred he wore his blazon helmet from that day. N Nahasis, who was a hunter as much as a sun king, and called for the proudest men of the noble houses to prove themselves in competition beneath the sun, and that those who felled the greatest machines would be situated as the first sun hawk and hawks of the hunter's lodge. The illuminated Marzid, who the sun visited with visions so vivid and grand, he commissioned many statues and frescoes of his visage in Meridian, and for his summer palace in Sunfall had the great citadel raised, where he remained painting until he took deathly ill from his own pigments. Hivas, elder brother of Marzid, who decreed each family with a suitable male child should submit that child in service of the Xundam's then depleted ranks, and had the artisans turn their attention from works of art to outfitting each soldier of the sun with the very finest armor, halberd, and bow. Jiran, who in his early years was a strong sun king, defending the Sundom from the encroachment of other tribes and the derangement of the machines, but who became greatly addled and ordered the spilling of much blood in the sun's name, threatening to bring a twilight time upon us. Avad, the Liberator. Oh, there's so much going on here. There's just so much going on here. Shall we take it bit by bit? All right. So this is 
every single Sun King going back to the very beginning. So we do have a catalog of the number of generations, although it's not actually just generations because some of them are of the same generation. All right. So Aramon, who brings us to the site of Holy Meridian. Amavad, presumably his son, who, who decided to create a, a food source for everybody so that none who walked in the sun's favor should go hungry again, who cut back the jewel. I'm just dying to know what the jewel was. You know, is the jewel the name? Like, basically, is, the, is, is was this guy so generous that he's like, I will first establish that there will be, that there will be, there will be food so that people won't go hungry. Um, and then I will, I will make my own palace smaller to share with others. Or is the jewel something that was like, was that, was the jewel like, like plants growing on top or something like that? Something, or, 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 or. I don't know, rock or something like that. Something beautiful that had to be cut back so that we could then put the houses, the first houses of the sun court there. I don't, I don't know. Um, but see, but so, so, so I'm not entirely clear on that. And then, okay, so then we have somebody who expands the dominion to the north, south, and east, setting a great, a gate at Bright Market Harbor, and then decide to name this the Karja Sundom. Yeah, so there's all these possibilities of what the jewel may be. Are we cutting back the agriculture? Like, are we cutting back plants so that we can build things there? Are we cutting rock out of the way so that we can put something there? Uh, maybe. It's interesting stuff. We'll see. Um, Juadon, Ju Juadon, generous, stocked the metal markets with the spoils of his own trampler hunts. So I don't think that trampler has shown up uh, in mention before, but presumably trampler is something I'm going to have to fight. Uh, from the sounds of it, I would predict that we're going to be fighting some sort of a mechanical um, elephant, which is not something I'm looking forward to fighting. So he went, he went, he, he hunted some tramplers and gave of his own hunts to the people. And he, he, he gave math and counting to other people and, and encouraged trade and commerce. Elephander. The Pilgrim Sun King, whose tower was raised to the top of the Ridge of Vales. Have we seen the Ridge of Vales? Crossed the great waters of the Daybreak. And then he had the Blazon Arch raised on the far shores. Um, and then we've got Erev. I love the phrasing, who saw the sun's passing into the west as a challenge. So he keeps going to try to go to the west, and then, then his people disappear. So his brother um, is like, well, I guess I'm king now. Uh, nobody go there. That's bad. <laughs> it's curious, though, that they vanished in the lands beyond. I mean, maybe they got lost. Maybe they died. Who knows? But, but the Forbidden West is, in fact... Um, the name of the second game, so do what you will with that. Um, and then we have the Returner who strove to bring civilization to the Savage East. So in this case, they, by the Returner, they mean that he went back to presumably the Nora and was like, hey, Nora, you should convert to us and do the technology and sun worship with us. And the Nora were like, no. And so he was like, okay, we'll build towers and walls around the embrace so that we can see what they're up to. Which is interesting, and I kind of wondered where some of that came from. The Firebird. So here the Sundom has been attacked. And he decided that he was going to defend his people. So he's the Firebird. I love that. I love that. He's the one who goes with his people and, and fights to save his people, even though he's so scarred that he never removes his helmet afterwards. Though it's possible perhaps it's not actually him underneath that helmet or something. I don't know. Um, a hunter as much as a sun king, who is like, you must be hunters too. The sun hawk and the hawks of the hunter's lodge. So he's the one who initiated that. And then we have a crazy, a crazy artist. Commissioned statues and frescoes, but he also painted. Fell deathly ill from his own pigments, most likely crimson. 
if I remember correctly. Um, is, it, is it crimson that's the one that's the most... Um, ah, a bunch of paints, honestly, have toxic... Like, this will kill you in them. So... They don't all have an epithet. They have, um, they have at least one word, and he has a word, too. Or, well, a phrase. Hunter, too. Cadmium, yellow, okay. Why am I thinking crimson? It's, I don't know. So, so we've got the artist. And then it's interesting because the artist, and then following the artist, is his elder brother, which makes me wonder how succession passes, like, how, how succession happens among the, uh, among the, uh, the Karja, um, that the elder brother comes next. And then he's like, we should probably stop making art and start making an army instead. And then Jiron, perhaps having been corrupted, because, so the derangement of the machines is only about as old as Aloy is. Um, it's, it's unclear, I think, whether the derangement, like, because they are they round to about 20 years when they talk about the derangement and she's not quite 20 um it's a little unclear um which is good like did the derangement happen and then Aloy was born to address that issue and basically fix the bug in the system or whatever the case may be or was it that the birth of Aloy in some way threw something off and therefore triggered the derangement we're not really sure which that is but it does seem that Jiran, so 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 Jiran was a strong Sun King, um, but then the derange and the derangement of the machines started before he went mad, but he became mad after the derangement of the machines, so 10, 15 years or so. And then I think we've had what two years since the end of his reign, that um, that Avad is uh, has taken over. It's interesting because you think of a lifespan as being very long, but actually a, a, a king's rulership, like 20, 30 years, you know, that's not your lifespan, but that may be how long you, how, how long you lead. Um, but yeah, so I think that Jiran was corrupted. I think that he, he, he went mad because of corruption. Um, so that's interesting. Oh, I still need to do that at some point. Inventory? Resources? What did I get that's exclamation pointed? Oh, a Ravager heart. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight one of those. I'm not looking forward to it. Special items? What did I get? Oh, another one of these. Jume World Tour 2053. Hmm. Alright. So there we go. Look at, look at how beautiful things are. So we know that the Karja value beauty, just as a stay the Osirum value s scientific curiosity and exploration. Look at that. Hold on. These guards are gossiping. Beard ritual vessels, yes. Hold on, we're gonna go scope out what this is over here. There's something... I want to take a look at it. There it is. Hold on. Ah. That's what that is. We could probably manage that. There's just some watchers. No, wait, no, are those, actually, no, I think those might be, those aren't watchers, those are fire chocobos, never mind, I take that back. These birds, some of these birds I don't know, some of them I do know. What's going on over here? Just a bunch of Karja spearmen just hanging out, being Karja spearmen. Is there anything else I can do, anywhere else I can go? Anything I haven't yet checked out here? I don't think so. And I don't think I've seen any more... What are they called? The things... With the words. Yeah, the Banuk do travel... Well, that Banuk 
seems to have traveled very far. And we now got a little bit more. Oh, look at how. Damn it. Oh my god. Did you hear one of them? It's like, oh gosh. They're like slacking off until I get here. And then they're like, oh. Day. I'll never oh, be the the view alone makes life worth living. Yeah, the view is pretty great. I'll give you that. I don't know how to get into that very center. I want to get into that very center, and I don't think I can get there. You know? I've tried. God. You know what's good? Guitars. Okay. Guitars are good. Stop. Oh my gosh. Such an interesting and elaborate door. I want to be able to. No. A colorful discussion. Yes, yes, good like Eve. Yes, yes, you're all very impressive. Okay, hold on. I would like to figure out how to get to this new quest, but I'm not sure that I can. I feel like it's it's up, but maybe not. Yeah, because I've gotten to here. An upper walkway. Stairs that lead up. Let's see if we can find it. Cause I would like to see the sun ring. I think that's mm, yes. You look capable. Y you might do. No. Come here if you will. No, I've already talked to you. It would be nice if they didn't have those people keep yelling at you quite so much. Alright, hold on. Let's see. There's got to be a way through somehow. There's got to be a staircase somewhere. Surely. Oh, hello. Sorry. I'm just going to knock into all of you. Surely. Oh, nope. Wait, hold on. Nope. There's a staircase, but I can't go up it. I think that this is what I would need to do. I think it's up there. And I think that we are not allowed to go up there. I think that's what this is. So this must be the sacrificial ring. This must be where, yeah, where the sacrifices were, and so that's why it's all off limits. We've, we've shut it down. Interesting. Well, we'll get there eventually. But for now, meanwhile, where are we going? We are going to... The fork in the road. And... Yes. This one right here as well. Where is this? Where is the fork in the road? Is that a side quest? No. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm failing at this. Ah, the fork in the road is this robbing the rich one. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do that. Let's see. Where is this going to take us? All the way up here, huh? That looks like a new kind of critter. Yay! That's wonderful. I love that. Okay. And this is the City of the Sun. Where is the Fork in the Road one? Uh, I think that probably the Fork in the Road one... I think I was supposed to get it before I went on that last quest thing. Yes, there is a question mark in the city, but I don't think I can go to it. Because I think that you have to be able to get up to the thing. Okay, so we can do this. To learn what happens to Nassan. So let's see, because I don't think this will take me. Oh, wait, actually. Yeah, so the main story plot is going to take me up. Uh, actually. I think it was. Well, we can, we can go here and see what happens. Let's try this, shall we? I'm sorry, I said we were going to go. Um,. Oh man, a detection component, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to try to not do that. I, I'm, I know I said I was gonna just follow main story quests, but we're gonna do this and then we're gonna hop back into rescuing Ursa, which is, I'm very interested in that. So we'll see how this goes. Now we're, now we're traveling a little bit faster than we had been, so that's good. Um. Without having to kill the machine. Yes, that is true. All right. Bring, bring. I hope you're all right with me following this 
this thread of story, but um I might hmm corrupted machines ooze poison and have more health. They are vulnerable to fire. Okay, that's good to know. I should set them on fire. Oh! Oh! So, my roommate asked me if I had tried the slingshot thing. And I said no. There's a new quest. Oh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. She asked if I, um had tried the slingshot and said she thought that I might have fun with it because it, it operates, apparently she says that it, it operates similarly to the physics of the rock. So if I figured out how to throw a rock, I can figure out how to use the slingshot. So I might give it a try. All right. I should probably actually scan around here before I go traipsing across the river, just in case there's like crocodiles. Although we look, we look pretty, pretty secure here. It doesn't look like there's like a ton of trouble. Okay. Onward then. This right over here looks like this will have the least amount of swimming, which is good. Oh, actually, hold on. I'm going to get some healing stuff because I'm still low on this and I need it. Yes, you're a goose. Very goose. I might, I might, I might need healing, so we're just going to get some healing here. Yes, at some point we'll go to Dimmed Bones. I would like to investigate that. Because there'll be so many data points. I assume anyway. I think. Or is that the place that... No, that's the place where we encountered her. Well, not encountered her, but the, where we did our, our investigation, isn't it? Okay. I should probably proceed with some degree of caution. Maybe. But I'm not picking up anything dangerous. Shockingly. That won't last, though. Don't worry. I have no illusions about there being no danger out this way. So we're back out of the beautiful fairy like what's the word I'm looking for? Has water and therefore plants. Oh, here we go. It's a campfire and the thing that we're investigating. Um, man, cactus. There's that thing right there. Okay. All right. We have discovered a campfire and we will get close That's enough. Work. This must be when Asan was supposed to check in. Let us go save and then we'll investigate, shall we? Oh, there's some blood. Cool. Good. That looks like things went very well here. Save. Now that I can teleport constantly, it's great. Fertile ground, yes. That wasn't even a, quite an oasis there. Oh, that's beautiful, though. All right, Aloy? You don't have anything to say about the fact that there's just blood on this rock, Aloy? Aloy? Come on. Okay, here we go. It looks like there was a scuffle here, but no body. Okay. Someone dragged us on off. There should be tracks. All right. See, oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. All right. We will follow these tracks, and I'm sure we won't have to confront any of these really scary enemies that I don't want to have to fight and try to avoid fighting all the time. That would never happen. Oh, do you think it might be jam? Rather than a, rather than blood, and that's why she didn't comment on it. All right, we are all full in healing items. Yay! What is that? Nothing. Okay. Just some foxes. Just some cactuses. Just gonna creep along. Freeze rhyme root. Oh, that's pretty. All right. Oh good, it's a dust storm. My favorite. I do appreciate that they have different kinds of 
weather. Horses. That's what striders are. Okay, hold on. Yes, I see you there. My goodness! That strider is awfully close to c civilization up here. Don't mess with me. I don't want to mess with you guys. Okay, we're fine. Tutorial message? The Shadow Carja outpost. Ah. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Oh, okay, so do I have to kill them all? I guess maybe I do. What do we got here? Sorry, folks, this might take a little bit. Yeah, they're hostile. Shadow Archer. God, there's so many of them. Um. Well. Hmm. Because it didn't say to exterminate them. It just said to find him. So it doesn't have to mean killing everybody. It's just that it might mean killing everybody. The Shadow Karja are bad. Hold on, which kind of arrow do I have equipped? Oh, the best. Oh, you know what? I should probably have a full bunch of those. Are we ready for this, folks? Well, we did it, whether we were ready for it or not. Oh, there's a guard right there. What are you doing, buddy? I sure hope I wasn't supposed to just walk up and talk to them. But it said... It said they were hostile, so I assumed that that means that they're hostile, because that's what it's meant. It would be really sad if this game decides to have, like, a gotcha of, like, you thought you, uh... You thought that you knew what you were doing, but actually... Hold on. Oh, shoot. Not gonna die. Yes, you are. Uh, she went that away. Oh my god, buddy. Yeah, looks like she needs to fight. Oops. Oh, oh, shoot. Well, that didn't go well. And I don't have Nil to help me with this. Take it down. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Enough searching. I got you. Shoot. Okay, well, that happened. Let this impale the enemy. Right here, you shot off. Oh, geez. Wow, I don't know what they just shot me with. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna do this better. I can do this better. I can do this better. I swear. I can do this better. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shadow Carja outpost. Oh, good. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Okay. Can I take out this guy? Probably. Can I take out this guy? There, okay. There. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, somebody there had a question mark. That's fine. Hold on. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? What are you doing, buddy? Okay. All right. Good. That helped. That was a good start. Let's uh. Let's keep going, shall we? Okay. We're 
gonna go here. There's nothing to see here, folks. I'm gonna make some more arrows. We're just gonna let them chill. Maybe. Nothing to see here, buddy. Nothing to see here. What are you doing here? Nothing to see here, guys. All right. That guy up there thought he saw something. His thought he saw something was, oh wait, wait, hold on. What do they think they see? What makes them think they see something? Oh shoot, hold on. to see here. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Oh, shoot! I don't know what that was, but... Oh, shoot. Okay. We're just gonna hang out here and hope that they don't come here. Okay. They're checking. Are you even looking over there? Oh, what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Finally. I'm gonna... Gonna hide out over here. Torture, but not boredom. Oh my god. Cork in it for now, gents. Oh my god, amazing. Okay, well it's good to know that uh they have a thing that can go boom. That's bad news for me. Okay. Well, some of their friends are dead. That's fine. It's good to know. Is there something I can see from over here that I couldn't see from over there? No, this is just farther away from them. Okay. There goes up there, guys. Just wandering on back. Just gonna let them do that. All right. It's good to know that that's happening. It's good to know that there's a whole bunch of dudes that way. This is why there's so much grass out here, though. Okay, so what do we got going on here? They're back to just wandering around doing their thing. Great. Okay, good. Let's see if we can drop a few more of them. Sorry, I worry that it's like really boring to watch me play these because I'm so slow. But I also feel like this is kind of how you're supposed to do this, you know? There's a dude over there. Yeah. That's what I thought. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? He's just chilling over there. Oh, there's a guy up here. Okay, hold on. I should take out this guy. Well, that guy's guy's back turned. Oh, no, he's sitting there. Okay, buddy. Where are you going? You're going to wander off that way. Okay, hold on. Can I see you? Is your friend up there facing away? He went back that way. Okay, cool. Oh, what? Excuse me. Ah, that's difficult. That guy went out of the way. This dude is just sitting over there. <sighs> Man! How inconvenient of them. Alright, well, I'm glad that you folks don't mind watching my efforts at stealthing. Stealth combat. Alright, this dude's coming back. That dude's still sitting there. So gotta be careful. I'm gonna drop this guy when that guy's not looking at him. I think. Or I can drop this guy when that guy's not looking at him. This could be it. Oh, Aloy. Oh, she doesn't immediately drop back down after she shoots. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know that guy went down. Despite making a lot of noise, nobody noticed. Nobody liked that guy anyway. That's good. That's convenient for me. All right, so then this other guy's gonna show up here and I'm gonna have to shoot him. I'm not having as good a time with my headshots as I usually do. All right. Still sniffing around. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh no, his friends. Oh no. 
No, 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 no. There's all these, they're, they're circling around. Oh shoot, oh shoot. This isn't good. Please don't think that I'm, okay, they're, they're looking at the other area that I think that they thought I was. Okay. Don't give up. Okay, well that's good. They're gonna give up shortly. They're gonna lose interest. That's right, no one here. Okay. Well, that's good. Turned out okay. All right. Wonder if I can get just one of them. All right. So these three guys are there. Don't notice that I killed that guy over there. Look. No big deal. Just shooting your guys. There's a bunch of them. Oh, he's, oh my god, that guy is climbing up. Okay, hold on. Are you the one that, are you the one that's, that took damage? There we go. That's more like it. You gotta, um, you gotta be able to get them in the head. So that they can't make noise. Just won't stop blowing. Hold on, let's see. Is this guy gonna show up? Is this guy gonna come into where I can see him? Yes, he is. Okay, cool. You might be like, oh no, there's a body. I won't be like, buddy, don't, you don't want to ask about that body. That's how you get more bodies. You don't want that, trust me. I wonder if I can throw a rock. What do you think? Throw a rock here. Okay, yeah, come on out. Oh, thank you, Dan. Thank you for subscribing, friend. Man, dude, check out the rock. This dude's like, no, I'm not gonna check out the rock. No rock checking out. <laughs> Thanks, Chrono. I appreciate you all appreciating the things that I say that I think are occasionally funny. Hello, buddy. Oh, there's a friend up there. That guy right up there. That's the dude, right? Probably can't shoot him from here. Wait, actually. Okay, can I, can I, can I see you? Can I see any of you? Do I have to like sneak this way to shoot you guys? Ah, they called Duran mad. But when we take Meridian, he says, God, there's so many of them. Hmm. I can just take out one of them. Come on, buddy. He's like, huh? What could that be? Just a rock. Okay, shoot, 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 Run, Aloy, run, 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 run. I'm not here. Don't be winning. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Nothing to see here. 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 They're gonna investigate. They did their thing. Yell if you see something. All right. Looking around, up. just a rock. That's it. I'm made for war, not chasing rats. I feel like I should try to drop this guy right here. Yet. Okay, cool. That took care of that. Oh no, I'm out of wire again. Oh shoot. I have to teleport back. Hold on. Can I teleport away? Oh, and then I could, oh, when I teleport back, I'll be at the campfire. I don't think I want that. But I could teleport back and then walk back. I don't have any more of those arrows. I should have bought, I should have bought more wire while I was in town. I even thought to myself, I should probably buy more wire. But I didn't do it. Did not do it. And now there's a dude over there who's like, huh, what's this? Because, yeah, neither one of these is going to be very good at hitting people, right? 
If I teleport away, will the guards respawn? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, we're going to switch to this arrow. Maybe shoot this guy a little closer. Oh, he thought he saw something, but he didn't. Nothing. Gotta calm my nerves. Right near my damn face. That's right. Oh, darn! Some other guy got it, got nervous too. All right, yeah, come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Get closer. You're not gonna like this. No, survive. Lose the blood. Stay close. Oh. That guy's down. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get healed, and I gotta run and hide. Oh gosh. Okay, nothing to see here. Yeah, they're going after what's over there. Yeah, I don't want that to hurt me. That would be no good. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing to see here, buddy. But if you come closer. I will, I will hurt you. Shot if you spot him. Okay. Of course, there's two of them. I don't like this whole not having arrows that can take these guys out thing. I definitely need to buy more wire. That is definitely a thing that I need. Whistle one dude over here. Hold on, can I? Heard something. Okay, that's just the one guy. Come on, come on over here. Let's see if I can. Can I silent murder him? I did. I did silent murder him. Excellent. Good. Okay. Excellent. Off to a decent start here. I've, uh, I've taken out a bunch of their guys. Not being able to do sniping is going to make this a lot harder. I need to figure out which one of them is so heavily armed that they have the explosive thing. Okay, so there's one dude over here. And then there's one, two... I might sneak here. I might sneak back this way and hope for the best. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we get another guy coming out this way. Maybe. This would be so much easier if I had the ability to actually kill these guys. I feel so, like, in trouble because I don't have my sniper arrows. Hard point arrows. Those ones do more damage, yeah? Oh, with fire arrow, we'll set you on fire. Mm -hmm. I've done a little bit of the lure call. But it won't let me use it here, because there's nobody. Nobody to see me. Well, hear me. Surely. Gosh, there's still, there's still too many guys. Guy that had the yellow loot. I can. Oh, this guy over here. Hold on. Let's see if that's the case. This guy over here has it. Oh, that guy's got desert glass. So that's not gonna help me here. I want your arrows. I want your wire, buddies. It's gotta be a way in. I'm gonna have to actually sneak in, aren't I? I don't have to do that. I don't want to have to sneak in. How inconvenient. How inconvenient. Maybe I'll maybe I'll throw some rocks. Oh, that didn't even make noise. Come on. Did anybody notice? Nobody noticed that. Come on, buddies. Oh come on guys. Is there grass over there that I can well I guess we'll go in here and see what we can do. 
I don't see any grass. Oh man, are there more guys? There's more guys over there. There's Nassan. There's the campfire. Oops, did I make noise? No, okay. Just, it looks like I should be able to jump up there. But I, uh, don't seem to be able to. I guess maybe if I... Is there gonna be somebody up there? Not super easily. <sighs> nope. That did not work. So I'm really not sure what I can do at this point. Except creep forward and hope that somewhere around here that's not what I want. Take your rock. Take this. Let's see, like, there's dudes over there that I could take out if I had my assassination arrows. Hold on. We're gonna just sneak around here and hope for the best. Somewhere around here. There's gotta be a guy. There's gotta be a guy. Somewhere. There's so many guys. Oh, they're in a fort. They're in a fort. It's not just a little bitty outpost. There's a whole fort. Jeez. What am I supposed to do? I guess I don't have to, I guess I'm not gonna kill them all. Save that guy, I can shoot him. Excellent. One, one down. One more down. It's a whole lot not down. Should I take out the guys at the entrance here so that they don't come get me? Because everybody else is like inside the fort. So I feel like that actually might be the safest move at this point. All right, we're gonna take my rock. Thanks. Let's take my other rock. Thanks. All right. This one has blue something. Are you significant? Notched ancient charm. That was new. There's some dudes over there. It's a bunch of dead dudes. Is there? If I go up here. Will I be able to shoot those guys? They're all archers, notice. Oh, a noose, of course. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Buddy. I would be... I'm going to take you out. Let's see if I can do this. Just... Oh, that looks important. That person was probably important. They've probably got something important. I wonder if I can sneak in that way. Is there grass up that way? It looks like there might not be grass. Hold on, we're gonna throw a rock out here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Smart boys. Come on. Ah, they're not leaving their fort. Come on guys, leave your fort. What is it? Come on. One of you's got to, oh, come on. You lazy, lazy, lazy butt. Did you, did you jump down here and then decide that you weren't interested? Oh my God, these guys are the laziest. Come on. Did you just climb up there again? Buddy, come on. Oh, he just, he's like, oh, that's too much work. It's too much work, I don't want to be fun. I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to do that. His life is hard. All right. Hold on. Oh, I am extremely close to a level. You are right. You're not kidding. This is a very close to level one. Oh, look at this. Okay, we've got some place that we can 
We can just come here. Okay, hold on. There's a there's a guy there. Yeah. That's cool. His friend is concerned. He's like, huh? Is there a body? Seems like there's a body. Hmm, probably not a body. Throw a rock and shoot you in the face. Problem is, if I don't successfully drop him in one hit, um, he might summon friends, which we don't want. But looks like I'm clear. All right, don't don't say that. We don't know for sure yet, Aloy. I don't see you. Okay, we're gonna throw a rock out here. Okay, hold on. No, we're gonna try this again. Throw a rock here. Come take a look. Come on. This guy's like, oh no. Don't think I'm gonna actually do that, do you? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Oh my god. There's a wall in the way, isn't there? Alright, what am I gonna do? I go here. This guy's like, huh? Huh? What is it? What is it, buddy? Nothing. Must have been the wind. Oh, come on. This guy's stuck. What am I gonna do about him? He appears to be the only one in this vicinity. And he seems to be stuck. Oh, wait, no, he's, he's lost his interest. He's lost his curiosity. Good. Okay. I'm gonna go out this way again. See if we can. Ah, uh, man. You're lucky that wall is in the way, buddy. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna be able to get to you. Gotta figure it out. Yeah. Let's see. If I were. Nope, still not quite. And I don't quite have my, uh. To do this. How inconvenient of him. You know, like what is what is he thinking not being where I can hit him? Come on. Come on out, buddy. <sighs> is he stuck? Did he get stuck? Can I circle around that way? Will he see me if I do? Maybe not. All right, well, we're gonna give this a go and see what happens if we come out this way. Okay, everyone else is kind of far away. We got this dude right here. Meridian had its time in the Pretender King's son. A shadow must pass over it. Hopefully nobody heard that. Did anybody hear that? Oh, of course I like crouched in the middle of nowhere. Okay. All right. So it appears that everyone here on the outside is down. So we're going to pick up some rocks because those are useful. I'm trying to figure out what to do from here. I do not have my best weapon, unfortunately. I really, really, really should have restocked on wire before I left Meridian. There's like no reason for me to have not done that, but I didn't. Look at that, there's a tall neck. <sighs> someday, someday. I don't even see it. Oh my God, that's far away. 
All right, folks. We can um, creep our way through here. Hope for the best. Oh, we can save, actually. Let's save. Shall we save? We're gonna save. Hope for the best. I mean, this like goes like right up here. They've got Nassan, all right. He needs help. Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic with your mother. Oh my God, I, I love this kid. I think he's kid. trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking. Oops, hold on. They're still looking. Yep, that's right, Aloy. We're leading them out here. We're trying to lead them out here anyway. Trying to lead them out to where there's grass. Lead them out to where there's grass. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, I probably can't hit you from here. Well, that's fine. Well, I'm glad to know that we're rescuing a punk kid. You know? You gotta appreciate that. You gotta respect that. All right, they're wandering around there. All right. Okay, cool. Great. Do I have... Hold on. Hold on. Do I have the thing to lob? I don't think I do, actually. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I have. Otherwise, I just like go in there and like lob some elemental on them, set them on all on fire. Be pretty great, wouldn't it? Is this the right arrow for me to be using on them? Oh my gosh! Could you maybe have some wire, guys? Any loot boxes I haven't opened? That's a good question. They're not very bright, okay? Treasure boxes. Okay, yeah, let's see what we got. Resource supply box. Take all. Resource supply. There we go. We got a little bit of wire. Shards. Not very many of them. Shards. Not very many of them. Modification box. Resource supply box. Look at that. We got the tiniest amount of wire. Oh, look at that. Okay. So we could make like a couple of arrows, but not many. Oh man, I have to figure out where I am and what I'm doing. Hold on. Hmm, is this a rock? What are you doing here, rock? All right, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Well, the box had, a, had other things in it, but I took them all out. So the rock was the only thing that was left. Oh good, a health potion, nice. We'll take that, thanks. Hmm, maybe if I just go in through the front door here, I can take stuff from them. And maybe, they don't have wires, do they? Okay, hold on. That took. Do I want to do this? <sighs> Not especially. This is not especially the way that I would choose to do this normally. But it's what we're doing. Oh, there's a dude I dropped here. Hold on, we're gonna take his stuff. And a rock. Oh, oh, that was a resource supply box. Okay, hold on. That might might be enough. That might do it. <sighs> nope. Nope. could really use. Okay, what is that guy holding? Elite Shadow Heavy. Okay, so they've actually parted ways. They're rampaging around. That's good to know. Okay, maybe if I throw a rock here. Let's see if there's a place that I can... Oh, there we go. I can, in fact, throw a rock here and then go hide in the grass. Oh, 
Come on, buddies. Come on. Come on. Come here. What? Did he not? Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. I can shoot him. What? No! Did he not? Oh, dude. You jerk. You jerk. Oh my god, he's so far away. Oh my god. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? I can maybe drop. One of them. I've got five arrows. How many of them can I drop? that direction. We're gonna hide out over here and if somebody comes to uh, investigate we'll take them out very slowly. Okay, hold on. I did not have my healing potions equipped. <sighs> that would have gone differently if I'd had my healing potions equipped. Are we gonna have to do this entire thing over again? Because so I might as well just teleport back. <sighs> it would have been better if I hadn't shot that one guy if I'd that silence. Sun, all right. Silence strike help. him. Where am I? Let's try this again. By the sun, I will see I'll keep it simple end. since you're obviously feeble. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. What were you doing out by the fork? How many it was a picnic with your mother. Huh. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Oh, no. He doesn't give me any of my good arrows. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking a few of his bones. Hold on, How hold many on. do you think we'll have to... Hold on. What have I got inventory-wise? Sorry, this is going to be really... We're going to have some trouble here. I hope you folks are prepared for me to die a whole bunch trying to figure this out. My apologies. Oh, look, this is one of those um, coin press things. Yeah, this is not where I would have chosen to be checkpointed, but I'll take it. Um, no, that's not what I want. Not resources. Weapons. Traps and potions. Mm, I thought I had more health potions than this. I don't know. Oh, hold on, let me close my door so that I don't... Uh -huh. Alright. Uh, these are not things that I can throw. Can I craft... Hold on, traps and potions. Traps, health potions, resist potions, traps. Uh, health potions... Health boost potion. That sounds good. Let's get one of those. Let's get some of these too while we're at it. I want to equip that. What else have I got? Ammo. <sighs> oh, 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 I forgot I had this. Don't I? Useful for fighting close targets. Do I have the rattler? What do I have? Sorry. Culling bow. No. Mighty bow. Additional stopping power. Hunter bow. Sharp shot bow. Trip caster. Spear. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. This is not gonna go very well. To make him squeal. Mm, he's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. What else you got? I'm taking wagers. Hmm. 
can see them. I can't see. Oops. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Hold on. Okay, hold on. We're gonna shoot this guy here. Tommy Girl! Not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Something broke. Okay, that took care of that. Oops. Okay, hold on. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, Aloy, Aloy, get out of there. get healed how did I not get healed why was I not healing is there a thing that says that you can't heal <sighs> okay I would have handled that differently but I thought I could handle healing not Nassan, all right okay hold on he needs help hold on we're gonna make that extra health potion that I, that I forgot to take hold on trap some potions crafting Potions. Oh, I thought there was... No, not that. Health potions. Health boost potions. There we go. Yeah, I was doing pretty well, I feel. That's okay. We're gonna do it here. Hold on, hold on. Let's try this again. The machine okay, hold on. Grown more I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. <laughs> With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My okay. That guy's dead. That's good. She's still here. Face the sun. I'm done. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, oh wow. Okay, that guy like insta kills you. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm not equipped to deal with this. We've got Nassan, all right. Okay, hold he on. We're gonna have to keep doing that, unfortunately. Yeah, we're not, we're clearly not going to have to, we're not going to be able to be up close with that guy. That's all right. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. The ceasefire is but a trick. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously okay, feeble. Okay. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. Not make it. With your mother. Uh, I think. Oh jeez, this is not good. Get out of there, get out of there, Aloy, Aloy, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Take cover, or you're next. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're good. Let this deliver the final. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. Uh, we're gonna need the fire. Okay, okay, hold on. Get under cover. Oh, 
use. Oh, jeez. I set them on fire. That is one way of dealing with the problem, isn't it? Isn't it? <sighs> oh, good. There's a resource supply box. And some health potions. Good to know. Excellent. Wonderful. I could have taken there. Phew, that was a lot of money. Fire striker, huh? All right. Well, that was exciting. Oh, I guess I could have put points. I guess I had points. All right. What we got over here? Well, I'm just gonna take your stuff. Just in case there's more stu more fighting. All right, well, we did it, folks. Yes, that guy was too busy being on fire to shoot at me, fortunately for me. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna take the stuff from the rest of their goons just in case something goes wrong. Sorry, buddy. I like, I do, I have to admit, I, I do appreciate this guy being a sassy mouth. Thank you. They made me actually do something that wasn't stealth, shockingly. I wonder what I was supposed to do. I bet I could have like climbed on a thing and sniped them. I bet that's what I could have done. I bet I could have like climbed up there or something like that and sniped the guys, but I didn't. Oh well, that's all right. Let us help this dude. I didn't want them to hit him. So I had to intervene before they hit him. Kinji, you've sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. This guy's seen better days. All right, well, I took out all of those guys, so. Where are you going? You're going that way? But I want to take the stuff from the guys that, well, that's fine. Let me save, shall I? If you don't mind. We're going to save. Hopefully not die. Save. Okay, hold on. I could have used traps or tripwires, yeah, but yeah, I felt like I should have probably had something explosive with them, and in the absence of having something explosive, I just set them on fire. Picked them off with a little teeny tiny bit of fire. Where did, where did this buddy go? Where'd he go? Where'd you go, buddy? Where are you? Where did he go? Did he climb the wall? Did he get outside? I bet he's got a shortcut out. Well, too bad. Too bad, buddy. I'll catch up with you eventually. Maybe. He's like, what is taking her so long? Ah, okay. Okay, well, he got out through a shortcut. Strider sight. Yeah, maybe we can ride off into the sunset together. All right. Oh, no, I already got that. Okay. Well, we did pretty okay this time around. Yeah, I lost the ability to get stuff off of those guys. All right, where is he? Where is he? Hold on. Buddy, where'd you go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's there. Okay. I went the wrong way. That's on me. Not this. Okay. Hold on. I was following what I thought was the... Wait. Hold on. I might have done this wrong. I'm sorry, folks. I have lost my way. We'll figure it out. Where are you, buddy? Where is he? I should have followed him, but I wanted to save. Because I thought I was going to die. Now where did he go? Oh, is he all the way down there? Yeah, the first half, oh, he's all the way down there. The first half was, was all stealth, definitely. Um, it's very stealth friendly, okay. 
I think I'm supposed to re repel from from up there. So I guess we're gonna have to go back there and then repel. <sighs> fine game, fine. I'll do the thing you want me to do. Okay. I'll do this somehow. Hopefully that dude doesn't get himself killed. Oh, here we go. Aha! Look at that. Is there anything else up here? Gotta check, you know, just in case there's like a what's it called? Data point somewhere. I want my data points, folks. Alright, this is what we're supposed to do. There we go. Of course she does that while she's going down. She can't just like hook it and then and then go down. That would make too much sense. Okay, we're gonna get that. Keep that for later. Alright, buddy. There you are. Hello, friend. Oh, I used up a lot of healing on that fight. Hello. Kindeev told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? <laughs> no. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Oh my goodness. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? But after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. I feel like if I had done something in a different order, he would have said something different because the way he said he, it cut to, but for now, I'm bound to Can Sunfall. Sounded a little bit different. All right, well, I have left behind some rocks, I think. Can I talk to you some more, buddy? Can I ask you questions? Can we have a conversation about anything? No. He's gonna do his thing. All right. We're gonna get a little bit of healing because we need healing. I also really need wire. Since I lost the wire that I would have gotten if the checkpoint had been different. But we're gonna just get a little bit of, oh, well, I was gonna get a little bit of healing if we could, but what's out this way? Probably some bad news. A destroyed watcher, so probably bad news. There's gonna be some vultures. No, I bet there's gonna be a snap moth. There's gotta be a snap moth around here somewhere. Some fish. That's not a snap moth. They're just getting me to lower my guard, but then there's gonna be a snap moth. I might need that. Oh, there's a campfire that I could teleport to. That's green up there, I guess. Interesting. Alright. What now? Oh, I have been up here. I've been here. I've been here. Yeah, there's totally... Yeah, there we go. There's those snap moths partying. Okay, we're gonna teleport back to... Yeah! I was up here. Quests. This one right here. Do you mind if we go and do something with this? Where is Pitchcliff? Pitch cliff is up that way. So we're gonna teleport back this way. Here. Oops, wrong one. Okay. We're gonna do this. Yeah, I feel like there was probably a way to do that fight that would have been much more effective. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go back to town. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. Oh, but I already did that, so. I, I did the Nissan quest. I need to go back to town and buy, or at least I need to find a shopkeep of some sort so I can buy wire, right? It's gotta be somewhere around here that I can easily buy wire. Here we go, we'll go here, we'll buy some wire, and then we'll teleport where we're supposed to go. Fire, it burns you, don't be on fire. Generally not recommended. They, they don't think you would enjoy that very much. Yeah, it would have been more exciting if it had been that one, the one time where, where I unfortunately, like, wasn't able to heal in time, because I feel like I was fighting pretty excitingly. That would have been an exciting fight. Oh, tying them down with the rope, ca rope caster. Okay. That's interesting. I don't think I have that. 
Yes, I need to get some bombs. I need to lob some bombs at things. So we'll go to a shopkeeper. We'll buy a ton of wires so that we can make a ton of arrows because that's important. You're probably not supposed to burn through wire as fast as I do, but you're also probably not supposed to be as addicted to, um, where is the shop? You're probably not supposed to be as addicted to stealthing as I am. I, okay, resources. Here we go, come on. What? Oh, there it is, I'm just blind. Okay, how do I buy? How do I buy multiples? Oh. Yes, and oops, all fires for, for heavy enemies. Yes. All right. I don't know how else to do this, so we're just gonna do this. Spend a lot of money. Okay. And then we're gonna sell some stuff, because I've got some stuff that's sellable. Some bracelets, some keys. Hold on. I'm not spending all my money. But given the number of times that I have run out of wire recently, I don't want to do that again, ever. So I've bought myself a buffer and hopefully I will start finding it again. And the end result will hopefully mean I love this. This is one of those that you put a penny in and then you put a quarter in and, and it rolls out the penny and it puts the the, the picture. Um, it puts the, like, you know? Yeah. This rare item of the old world is valuable to merchants. I used to get this when I was a little kid. All right. Penny pressers, yes. Traps and potions. Oh, I don't want to sell. Eh, we're fine. Okay. Now, we're gonna teleport up to... Okay, so we could go that way. Hold on, which quest is active? Pitch cliff. Okay, okay, so we can, we can either go this way which I haven't done as much of. So we could go this way. Do I wanna go that way? Do I wanna go this way? Is there a reason I noped out of this area? I don't know, let's find out. All right, here we go. Hostiles with the timer around their awareness icon are actively searching for you. We did not turn in the quest. We went to uh, we went to go buy some wire so that I can make arrows, and now we're gonna go, or at least try to continue up a little bit to find. Her name's not Ursa, is it? What is it? Is it Ursa? Like bear? All right. Oh jeez, you're so big. I don't like you. Snap moths. I don't like snap moths. Okay. Let's go up this way. What is this? Oh, okay. What is her name again? The girl that we're going to go rescue. The sister. Aaron's sister. Is her name not pronounced Ursa? Oh god, you're so big and scary. I don't really want to fight you, buddy. But I'm probably gonna have to. Let's see if I can just nope. I can just nope away from fighting you. That'd be great. Yes, I see there's a snap moss site. Yes, I see it. I'm not gonna fight it. I'm gonna just do this. We're gonna just do this. Nothing to see here, buddy. Nothing to see here. Oh my god, they're so scary. They're so scary. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh good. Machine sights, right and left. That's all we need. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness. Uh, how do I get away from here? There's so many. I might regret this. I know, I know, Aloy. I don't particularly want to get you killed here. Go this way. 
Nothing to see here, buddies. I'm just going over here. We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna not approach you. We're not gonna scare you. We're just not, not gonna have anything to do with you. We're just, oh my God. What even are you up there? Are you a charger too? Oh my God. There's so many scary things happening here. I don't like any of them. I'm just gonna get some healing. This will help. And then we're gonna, gonna just run this way and try not to die. Oh jeez. Hello, buddies. that green? Can I teleport there now? Not that I would want to. How? Okay, it is green. That one's also green. Well, that's good to know. Okay, we're just gonna go this way and hope for the best. Oh my god. Is that a shell? That's a shell locker, yeah. Okay, cool. We just gotta make sure that if we fight it, we do it where we're out of Yes, we are past the usual shutdown time. I just, I really wanted to get us underway to uh, find Ursa. Oh, hold on, I need that. I will want that. Oh, jeez. Shell walkers, yeah. Okay. I don't particularly want to fight anybody right now. I don't particularly like there's, I've discovered a sight of something that I haven't seen that I don't really want to fight. Are they coming back this way? No. What's in here? Oh, that looks like that's a hunter's lodge up there. Okay, so those guys are just going off doing their thing. And I hear low distant rumbles that scare me from elsewhere. Oh look, there's more snow. All right. There's so much stuff here. All right. Anyway, sorry, I know this is past our usual shutdown time and I hope you guys will forgive me, but I'm trying to press onward a little bit. I just, that would have been a great place to stop, but I didn't want to stop yet. Okay. We're just gonna make a run for it and uh, see what happens. There's some water. Oh, there's an, another convoy? We'll just raid this. Maybe it has. Oh, good. Sawtooths. Great. Oh my god. Everything here is so scary. I'm sorry, but like literally everything that I'm seeing is scary. You know? Like, there's not a single creature that I've encountered that I'm like, oh yeah, I can handle that. There's a whole bunch of these. Over here. Are they gonna fight each other? What's going on here? Snap maws versus those guys. Yeah. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Please don't kill me. Please don't notice me. There's nothing to see here. There's absolutely nothing to see here. Oh god. Oh 
Oh jeez, are you serious? Did that guy go looking for me? God, I hope not. Oh my goodness. Oh, Marcus, thank you. Posture check. I've killed those things before, yes, but not in the number that I have to here. Snap maws, I've only fought from a distance. Okay, those guys are now gonna loop around. Oh good, it's a corruption area. At least I'm giving myself some teleport options. That's kind of what I'm what my goal here is. Pitchcliff is way out there in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Okay, we're just gonna go up this way. Just nothing to see here. I'm not even gonna fight anything ever. Just just never fight anything. This is gonna be Horizon Zero Peaceful. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh good. There's some birds up there. And a corrupted zone that's probably way higher level than I am. And a bunch of scary looking guys over there. I don't know what they are, but I don't like the looks of them. It's a quest to turn in? What quest to turn in is nearby here? Hold on. Uh, no. We're just gonna, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh jeez, those guys are scary looking. There's a lot of scary looking stuff here. Oh jeez, no, please do not. Do not come to me. At least I finally looked at those guys. I got a scan on the rock breakers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I still going the right way? Yeah. We're not gonna fight that guy. That guy is bad. I'm a little nervous about them. Campfire discovered where? Okay, if we turn this way, take a shorter route. Okay. It's a campfire there. Oh my goodness. I feel like the other, like coming at it from the other side would actually probably have been a bit less scary. Cause this feels like I'm not supposed to be here yet. You know? You know? At least that's the impression I get. Is that I'm not supposed to be here yet. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, we're gonna take this. Oh god. Snap moths. <sighs> nope. We're gonna go this way and try not to be snap mod. I think that the best bet to not be snap mod is gonna be. think right here. I'm very careful and quiet. Jeez. Okay, 
we'll just get away from the water and maybe we won't have to deal with those guys. We're just going to be back up here in the uh, deciduous forested land. That was a level 35 corrupted rock bait breaker. The only encounter I've had with rock breakers so far has been a boss fight. Where am I? What is this? What is that? Shell walker. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, there's humans fighting it. <laughs> These aren't cheap. Yeah, level 35. Who is that? Who's doing the fighting? Osram Freebooter. I can help the Osram. Good night, Whooper. I think I might try to help these guys. If there's any guys left, yeah. Shoot, I thought they were gonna. Here we go. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Can we talk? It won't take long. Yeah. You saved my life and gave me hope. Thank you. Oh wow. They give you something if you save them. That's nice. That's nice of them. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. You uh, did the majority of that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What is this? Just a watcher. Okay. Well, there we go. I inherited somebody else's crab battle. But it's okay. We did well. We did a good job. Scary cow things. We're almost there, actually. Let's see if we can find a campfire. Where am I? The climate has changed completely. This looks more like, like, I don't know, the Carolinas almost? I think with the kind of trees and the mountains in the distance, maybe? I don't know. What are you up there? Probably something I don't want to tangle with. It's probably safe to say about anything. God, this is beautiful. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. We're in like some completely other part of the, like some completely other climate and it's gorgeous. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right. There's some cows we don't want to fight. So we'll try not to fight the cows. That cow wants to fight me. Don't fight me, cow. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. All right. Yeah, we'll just keep going through here. Oh, there's something weird looking. Look at how incredibly green and vivid it is. Like it's gorgeous here. This is absolutely beautiful. What is this, though? Oh my goodness. Yeah. What is this, Aloy? Can I climb it? No, it doesn't look like I can climb it. Where is the campfire that was discovered? What is this? What is this?
that's cutting wood. That's, 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 that's contemporary for Aloy's time. Machinery cutting wood. I think. I think that that's contemporary with Aloy's time anyway. Oh, shoot. Okay. Pitch cliff. Sorry, super curious. I gotta check this out. Sorry, folks. Nobody noticed the sound that you're hearing. Yeah, look at all this. The, the forest has been cut down. There's tree stumps everywhere. There's a log log slicing thing. I don't know what that is, but I bet it's got something to do with logging. And then this, which just looks like some sort of a crazy, like... Looks like some humans being like, we were here. We'll make this crazy thing. Wild! Oh no. This is the wrong way. Alright, so I want to go up this way, huh? Alright, so there's a campfire here. So pitch cliff. This must be- oh, so this is- this is gonna be- this is gonna be an Osirum village! Yeah! This is the Osirum! That's why they've got so many machines. Oh man. Okay, so this feels like we should stop here. We should stop here before we go to our first Osirum place. Oh my God. Fascinating. Oh my goodness. Okay, folks, just look at this. Just look at how incredibly different this landscape is from any landscape that we've seen so far. It's really neat. Then just look at how very different the Osram city looks. That's something I'm going to investigate next time. Yes, a whole new culture for us to experience. We've just, we've just saved. Hold on, we're going to go save again. And then we'll go talk to those dudes. And, uh, and then we'll have a whole new thing to, to learn about. It's very exciting, actually. The world has opened up. It is big. It is interesting. It is strange. Oh, well, folks, there we go. We did not actually have a single tidbit, not even the singlest tidbitest of modern world, like actual uh, things that are happening in the real world or that are based on things that happen are happening or, or are believable to happen in our real world. It's so interesting to see, though, like the, the amount of space between like like it really depends on what you dig into i could go to one of those ancient ruins and maybe find some old data points and have more stuff to dig into or i could further the story it's very strange to me what is like main quest and what is side quest although i guess this is a side main quest i think they're both under main instead of under side i don't know man it's interesting well Hopefully this was an interesting stream to watch. I feel like it was like a little bit of little stuff, but we met the king, which is very interesting. We've met some very interesting NPCs, some really interesting story characters that I am looking forward to having more story stuff with. Hopefully they won't be just like in and out of our of our um our lives the way Varl and his mom like were very briefly in our lives and then they're gone. Like I hope that we're gonna be going in and out of Meridian, dealing with other things and then coming back to Meridian drama. So we'll see how that goes. Um but yeah, thank you so much for being here folks. It's as always been a delight to have you here. Um we will be playing Hades on Thursday. I'm gonna I got credits last Thursday and I'm going to do some post. I'm going to continue. Um, I'm kind of running full speed ahead towards what I anticipate to be the second stopping point. Um, uh, Saturday, we're going to continue to do Final Fantasy, um, Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster, my favorite game of all time. And um, I might do a music concert on Sunday or something like that, just like myself, but like on YouTube, because I've 
don't usually stream to YouTube, and I realized maybe I should try streaming to YouTube. Um, so that might be fun to try um, uh, on Sunday, but we'll see. Um, we'll see what winds up happening. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to continue playing through this game. It should be fun. I'll continue making things and doing things. Oh, I posted a new cover on my YouTube channel, speaking of YouTube. Not from this game. Um, but yeah, so there'll be like, I don't know. There'll be more stuff. So thank you all for being here. I appreciate you, as always. I'm sorry I went over. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again, possibly, possibly next week, possibly later this week, possibly another time. Um, but yeah, stay safe, stay, stay healthy, um, take good care of yourselves. I know things keep getting hard again. And just, we're just going to get through it one, one way or another. We're going to find a way through it and we're going to get through it. I believe in us. So yes, please take care of yourself. And if that means you have to take some time for yourself to deal with things, that's okay too. Um, cause you matter and you or your mental health matters. So good night. I'll see you later.